Hey guys, uh, so I just want to show you a video where uh, I've actually made uh, ops and videos ops and swords work actually where a lot of people online are actually saying that the op and swords are actually low tier in terms of the uh, skills or abilities to use but uh, here I actually managed to make it work for the first two chapters maybe because it's easier or the first two chapters the creatures are not so uh, tough compared to the others so this is what I found out so here I'm just showing you my gameplay a little bit about how I managed to clear the first two chapters uh, because I believe the first chapter is very easy and the second one is more of uh, just uh, getting the right equipment and right ability at the right time right and then the rest are just upgrading your uh, equipment and abilities uh, from from grinding uh, I actually started off playing Archero like last, last Friday so it's about six days now and uh, I just recently completed chapter 4 so I'm now uh, playing in chapter 5 and uh, pretty much like this game uh, apart from the grind uh, apart of, from the little bit of extra grind but uh, I don't really mind since I want to find out how far or good well I can do in this game uh, so um, in chapter 3 and 4 I'll probably be doing another uh, video later on but uh, I've changed from using the the orbs and sword style and uh, been focusing more on using the scythe so all these weapons can actually be uh, obtained from the what do you call it the chess and uh, I, I'm pretty lucky so far I guess so far yeah so here I just uh, want to share a little bit so I'll be fighting the boss uh, the, the boss in the second chapter uh, I think I've been stuck for maybe a day uh, fighting this boss probably because I uh, have some difficulties uh, planning or fighting him or maybe my gear isn't as strong as I can or have so just uh, trying to use the evading using the the ops uh, do its work uh, at that point of time using a throwing knife so wasn't doing a lot of damage with that so I realized why not I use the ops and uh, the knives to try to discover and try to take him down so just walking around left and right I've managed to take on almost half of his life and uh, yeah just playing very very cautiously here to try to get a kill from him for myself uh, I realized this was my toughest boss I think like three four days back because uh, his his skills and uh, his jump jumping abilities are very unpredictable a little bit unpredictable but if after a while once you get used to it I mean it's only a matter of time when uh, you get your equipments level up and uh, you can take him down eventually so it also partly plays a little bit on your luck luck in terms of the abilities you get chosen it's like if you get multi shots or the the right uh, playstyle that you want early on uh, it's much easier to uh, play on later on so here you can see I actually got hit from him several times but I didn't get any damage so I actually realized that but uh, I think it's because of the shield or my invulnerability so yeah I barely barely got to take him down but this was my first uh, attempt uh, first final attempt alright 